بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ایکسپینسز انالیسز ان آور لاسٹ ویڈیو وی ہیو ڈن آور ریونیو انالیسز سو اف وی کلک آن دس ریونیو ٹیب اٹ ول ری ڈائریکٹ اس ٹو دا ریونیو رپورٹ اینڈ وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈن دس رپورٹ اینڈ ناؤ وی نیڈ ٹو make an expenses analysis report how we can do that if we click on expense it will redirect to our expense analysis report as you can see here i have created already here but in our this report a b c e d company we need to create an expense analysis analysis report we created this report in our last lecture and now we will create the expense analysis report before we go to make this report we need to go to our google sheet resource data this is the google sheet interface and this is our data the resource data we need to open it before we discuss further please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to receive our latest videos we need to go to the connected tab this is total of two branches we need to insert here new columns suppose this is cost of goods sold column and this is operating expenses column what we need to do is the cost of goods sold suppose it is the 60% of total expense drag it down operating expense we can assume that it will be 30% or 40% of the total expenses let's copy this and paste here for the other branch also let's change for the other branch we will make here like 45 percent cost of goods sold and 55 percent operating expenses for jidda branch cool now we need to make sure that our format of the cells are number or currency format okay number or currency and this is the plain text format okay cool we have updated our database to make an expense analysis report what we need to do is we need to go to our report and go to edit the first thing we need to do is we need to update our resource data go to resource and manage added data resource go to edit and you need to refresh the fields when you refresh the fields it will tell you that the new fields are cgs and operating expenses fields if we click on apply we will see here our new fields cost of goods sold which is number format and operating expenses number format cool we will click on done and close this is our report now we need to connect this expense with our new dashboard of expense analysis what we need to do is we need to create a page add a new page or duplicate the revenue analysis report click here rename here we can write expense analysis report okay what we need to do is we need to connect this expense with this page expense analysis report here click on apply it is connected we need to change the color okay good now if you go to view 
if you click on profit and loss you will be on this page and if you click on revenue page you will redirect to the revenue analysis report and if you click on expense you will redirect to the expense analysis report which we will make now go to edit we will change the name here expense analysis report what we need to do here we need to change the color to dark red tab colors will be red and background color will be red okay. now we need to change these scorecards what we need to do is we need to change the metric here if anybody don't know how to create a scorecard I will illustrate here how you need how you, how you can create a scorecard you need to go here add a chart and scorecard just drag down here you will be having a new scorecard here and you can style and you can change the data which I am going to do with these scorecards let's delete this what we will do here we will change the metric here expenses or we can make it as expenses total expenses the comparison will be auto and here also we will change expenses okay we need to change the color increase in expenses is unfavorable and decrease in expenses is favorable so here we need to change also comparison of metric increase in expense is unfavorable and decrease in expense is favorable so these are the total expenses for the both branches if we click on if we go to view if we click on the branch like the mom uncheck it will change automatically okay go to edit mode what we need to do is we need to create another scorecard we need to create another scorecard which should be related to cost of goods scorecard and operating expenses scorecard let's change here metric CGS and auto date and comparison of cost of goods sold should be previous year go to style use compact numbers and the favorable figure expenses are unfavorable if it's red and green it will be favorable show comparison labels here we go we have our scorecard ready labels hide metric name add border shadow and make it 10 to round okay cool what we need to do here we can add a text to show here that this is a cost of goods sold C G S or either if you don't need this to make it you can click here and you can go to style and you can make unchoose here hide metric label you can change even the color of the this one the color of this one also you can change the label colors but I think it is better if you will not change the color of the label make it auto black so you will see the comparison figures how it look like what we need to do we need to copy and paste this 
and make it here as operating expenses. Operating expenses, pre previous year comparison, all is OK. So our scorecards are ready. Arrange to vertically bottom. OK, cool. Now what we need to do here, we have here a time series chart by branch wise. We will click on this time series chart. We will change here only the metric. The date of dimension is copy of date like it is monthly wise. And we need to change here as expenses, total expenses, with the comparison of previous year. We need to go to style and change the color of the bars. OK. Here, in our table, we are going to change also the data metric to expense by branch wise. And comparison is previous year, which is here. Increase in expense is unfavorable. So we need to change these arrows. We need to go to style. The first thing we need to do is we need to change the header to make it red. And uh, increase is unfavorable and decrease is favorable in expenses. We will change these bars, colors, to red or light, OK, cool. Our table is also ready. Now we are going to check this area chart. What we need to do here, we need to go to the data. We need to change the metric here as expense, OK? And the date default range is as per this date which is from 1st July to February 29. OK, we need to go to style. We can change the color. We can change the color here. One is here, and the one is dark. Or you can change the color red. OK. OK. This is showing by branch, like the mom branch having this area and its points. If you go to view, you will realize that this is the data points showing this is the area of the expenses, how much area covered by Jidda branch and how much area covered by the mom branch. Go to edit mode. We did not make your outline. Let's make the outline here. Dark blue. OK, cool. Now it's looking good. What we need to do here next, next we need to check a pivot table according to branch and according to month wise our expenses. We need to change here the metric by expenses. And we need to go to the style and change this. Compact numbers, add border shadow. I have already discussed these charts in our previous lectures. If you don't know that how we need to create these charts, you can check my old videos also. I am going part wise. If you see here pivot table, what we have here, the date range is date by days wise. This is row dimension will be branch. This row dimension will be branch that we need the data for branch expenses 
and here this is monthly wise we need monthly wise july august september october november december metric will be expense that we are going to discuss the expenses now show grand total if you click here it will show grand total here show grand total by column wise and row wise row 1 ascending sorting column wise ascending sorting date range is auto if you need a custom date you can also make a custom date that if you need only for july august september you can check here the date and you can see the data and styles you can choose any type of styles like table header color i make it white you can make any of the color and the text size table headers row even colors is dark blue you can choose any of the any of the color like this so i have choose here the light gray table labels are black if you want to change to red you can change red whatever you like it is up to you background and border we have made the white background for the pivot table border shadows we have added the border shadows if you go to the view mode you can see here our expenses analysis report is fine go to edit mode we need to create one time series chart here which compares the expenses like cost of goods sold operating expenses and the total expenses comparison what we need to do here make it up and this one we can move here let's finish first the pivot table in pivot table we have the data for yearly monthly and branch wise the dimensions how this is if you go to view you will see here the branch wise month wise and year wise you can have the data this is revenue now we are going to check for expenses go to edit mode click on it go to data change here metric only expenses cool this data is according to this date range which we have already selected in this tab if you go to style you can change the color of the slice it will be red because these are expenses and the label we will make white background color transparent legends will be red okay cool now if you go to view you will see here branch wise month wise and year wise expenses this optional matrix we can add any of the my metric here like if you click on here and go to data here optional metric we can add even here cost of goods sold and operating expense these are optional matrix if you go to view mode now if you click on here optional matrix you can check cost of goods sold by monthly operating expenses by monthly this is this report is aggregated for the both branches if you need only the mom branch uncheck the jidda branch you will having the data of only one branch as you can see here what we need to do we need the both branch data go to edit mode we are going to create here a time series chart to check the comparison of our expenses what we have here cost of goods sold metric and dimension here by month wise if you want to choose here you can choose here monthly so it is easy to readable that this is monthly dimension what we need to do here we need to add here the metric operating expenses and if you wish to see the total expenses but i think that is not good because we have here already total expenses so what we need to go do we need to go to the we can add here a comparison 
or previous year. And we can go to style and we can choose this chart by bars. As you can see here, we have here bars chart and we have expenses for series one. For series two, we will use the bars and these bars could be yellow, okay, operating expenses should be left and background color should be white, add border shadow, hide the legend or show legend here. If you need only the data for without comparison, you can make it here none. So you can see here the operating expenses are higher than the cost uh, the cost of goods sold expenses are the higher than operating expense. Now we will go to view and we will uncheck one branch and see, see here the one branch data. This is what we have for today. In our coming lectures, we will discuss on balance sheet that how we can make a balance sheet and cash flow statements. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel for more videos. It will keep motivating us to make new videos. Goodbye.